Food Bank, followed by the green Redeem button. If you don't already have a PayPal account, you can set one up here. Your balance must be over 25 US dollars in order to cash out. You can also access your Display Awards bank account by clicking the piggy bank icon in the middle right of your profile. Remember that redemptions will be processed and sent to PayPal on Monday and Thursday each week, excluding US holidays. Happy earning.
are we already rolling into the weekend? If not, well, get ready, because it's lights, camera, action. I hope you're ready to make some movie magic and make some moves. <laughs> Literally, it's Fitness Friday here. Memorize your lines, powder your noses, and prepare to act up. Are you ready for your close-up? Did that? Did I do that right? No. Okay. Well, my fit. Mm, eh, you know, whatever. Okay. Scene one, take two, potentially here. Let's kick things off tonight. We're gonna start rolling with our display tip of the day. Then we're gonna get up close and personal with the in-app video editor. Next, we're zooming in on a very special creator in the fitness space, Jesse Diaz. I mentioned it's Fitness Friday, so we're going to sort of look at some of his posts, and then we'll pan over to Amazon Live's very own makeup artist, Luana Factora. And finally, it's time for your favorite action sequence in the last trivia game of the week where you could win up to $10,000. Woo! I imagine that's what you're all doing at home with me. It's not all movie magic around here, though, because tonight we want to give you a quick peek behind the curtain and show you how some of the sausage gets made. My deepest condolences to all of the uh, vegetarians out there. The in-app video editor toolkit will help you channel your, channel your inner Hollywood director. So let's show you how it works, right? We're gonna go into our video toolkit. This is how you get there. You're on your main profile and you're gonna go like you're making a post, a brand new post, right? So you're gonna click in to either the plus sign, you're gonna click the add post button, and then you are going to see your camera roll. You don't want to use any of those pictures though. So you're gonna click on your camera to take a new image or video. Bam, look at that girl. Woo, that's me. All right, so now you're in your video toolkit and you can basically you know, shoot stuff and edit it on the fly. Yes, have you been experimenting with this stuff on display yet? Maybe other social media apps. Well, you got everything you need here so you never have to leave again. So I'm gonna show you how it works. So essentially, you've got a couple different options you can play with that you're seeing there on the right in the middle. You've got your duration and your timer. So let's click on those and see what you get. Oh, look at that. You can set a timer countdown. So if you wanna put your phone on a tripod, let's say for a moment, you know, you can get into the right place. It'll go off. You can set how long you want it to record for, whether you want to do a 15 second video or a 30 second video. All right, so that's one of your options. Then let's go back and see what else we've got here. Okay, woo, look at that. We've got speed. You're gonna speed things up so you sound like a little chipmunk. <laughs> Sorry guys, that was probably really annoying. Or you can slow things down. Ah, see, lots of fun there. Lots and lots of fun with that, that, that element. And then finally, we can play around with our filters. Look at all these cool filters. So if you didn't do your makeup, if you got something on your face, you want to, you know, I don't know, make the brightness a little more, exposure a little less, play around with the filters. Have you been playing with this? Let's take a look at the chat. Let's check in here. Pro Focus said, wow. Pro Focus, that sounds like a... Uh, director or a photographer name, so maybe you know. Maybe you know how all of these things work. And who else have we got? Oh, we have someone demanding that I start the game, please. Sir, or lady, or whomever. Maybe you're a dog, I don't know. Let me tell you something. We have created an incredible show for you to learn how to use this app to highlight some of the creators who are doing great work here and to really you know, empower you to become a creator just like them if you want. That's why I just showed you all those cool tools. The trivia is only just but a small component. If you wanna come back for the trivia, come back for the trivia, but you know, if you do that, you might miss it. So you should just hang out with us. It's pretty fun in here. This is a party, yeah. Mark said, I'm so glad I tuned in to learn this. You know what? You know what I say? Learnings and earnings go hand in hand. You wanna make that money from the trivia, yeah, stay and learn, right? Because if you have the knowledge, maybe you could even answer a trivia question right. That's what I like to say. That's what she says. Ah, Dab31 says, Sarah doesn't need a filter. Thank you. I appreciate that. So yeah, if you haven't already tried this feature, what are you waiting for? Unleash some creativity. Give it a whirl. Post a new video you made using these tips and tag us at Today on Display with hashtag display tip of the day. 
I want to find it. I want to show your work. So definitely use those hashtags. Friends, stick around because when we come back, it's Fitness Friday. Welcome to Display Tips. The best way to get the most out of display is to explore and discover. Let's take a quick glance at your display home screen. Swipe up and scroll through the news feed to see inspiring content from other creators. When you see something you like, tap like, comment, share, support, or all of them. Ready to create your own content? Tap the create icon for photo, video, GIFs, filters, live streaming, and more. Then start sharing. Watch for more tips on Display TV. From Long Beach, girl. With, with so much drama in the LBC, it's kind of hard being Snoop Dogg or Double G. But I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass shit like every single day. May I kick a little something for the G's and make a few ends as I breeze through two in the morning and a I ain't joking, do it sound like I'm kidding I've been making like 2,000 a minute So high up through the clouds, I was swimming I'm probably gonna drown when I'm in it I bet she gonna get loud when I'm in it And we might have a child I don't love a hoe after we fuck, she can't get near me Only bitch I give a conversation to it Welcome back to Today on Display. I'm your host. The name's Priebus. Sarah Priebus. And I just want to say hi. Hi, there's some newbies in here tonight. Hello, hello, Creatively Amber. It's good to see you. We've got someone else that I want to shout out, Mel2002. Hello, welcome. Come one, come all. P, P dot 29. Maybe it's P do. Pido, if you're French, I don't know where you're from, who said, I'm glad I learned this one. See, if you come early, you're, you learn all the cool tips and tricks here on display, and you get to see some of the creators doing great work. You just saw Snoop. Did, did you know that we had Snoop on to do an exclusive performance on display? Like nine songs. It was crazy. But today, let's jump right into our creator spotlight and shine the light on fitness guru Jesse Diaz. Let's take a look at some of his boasts here on the app. I like to acknowledge people that are doing all kinds of stuff because social media is comprised of all of these different niches. You know what I mean? Ooh, I can tell he works out. Can you guys tell he works out? I can. I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It's, is it the muscle shirt or is it the muscle shirt? It's, it's the muscles. That's right, it's the muscles. All right, let's pan to some of the stuff that he's doing. This is really cool photography. I love that he blurs and gets really artistic with some of his fitness images. But yeah, I mean, you have to remember that social media is, you know, it's cooking, it's makeup, it's fashion, it's fitness, it's all the inspiration, music. There are so many different elements of social media. So here on display, we really try to highlight everyone that's doing good work in all of these different categories. So Jesse is someone who I have definitely noticed who does incredible photography within the fitness space. He's really inspiring. He's doing all calisthenics. These are body weight exercises. Look at that. I could, I could wash stuff on that. That's for sure. Wow. I, I mean, I am, is he floating? Is he flying? He is the modern day Superman and he's based out of California. He's been on display TV a handful of times, but I thought it would be fun to reintroduce you to some of his work because it's incredible. I love his photographs and he does, of course, post incredible videos as well. They were, they're gonna get you pumped. They're also gonna make you feel like your workout routine is slacking. Let's take a look. Oh boy. Oh boy, I tried to do a push up the other day and I could, I could only do two. Shout out in the chat, how many push ups? But I bet you Jesse he can do a whole lot more. Look at him hanging there. What? What is that? He's just like gripping and hanging parallel. That is crazy. What kind of magic Jedi stuff is that? Okay, let's take a look at the next one. What? That is some serious training. And I think it goes back to, he's talked about this on the show. You know, you don't have to have a lot of equipment. Sure, he's using these bars and things, but a lot of his, his exercise is based on the body weight. So he's doing it in his apartment. He's using household objects. He's not actually, you know, needing to go to the gym or anything to do any of this, which I think is really cool. We can do so much with just our body weight. 
All right. Yes, Mark says, I follow Jesse. Jesse's a great follow. He's also a great human being. So definitely check him out on display. And y'all, we will be right back with a trivia wheel spin and then Amazon Live's hair and makeup artist Luana Factora is stopping by. Stay tuned for more. Hey, I'm Tiki Barber, former University of Virginia student athlete and also former New York Giant running back. I can't tell you how excited I am to announce the partnership between influencer and display. So what's display? Display is social that pays. This revolutionary social media app is changing the game for college athletes and now it's your turn to play. Welcome to the brand new world on social media. Welcome to display. Social that pays. You're my queen, all that I need, got it, I mean. Radio hitting rainbows, ultra light beams. Sport plays more like tennis, don't need a team. It's just me and you, and it's everything that is seen. Yeah. Hey. Put it's my turn now And it should've been my first round Y'all tell her what the fuck was you worried about Who was talking all this shit, I'ma bury him now Welcome back to Today on Display, and I know I'm wearing a dark outfit, but I promise this game is going to be anything but dark. It's going to be light and fun and full of money. So in the spirit of that, let's find out how much we're playing for today by spinning the wheel. You can see there's $1,000 slots, $2,500 slots, and of course $5,000 slots. So let's all cross our fingers and hope it's going to be a big one. Let's spin the wheel. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I can hear you chanting 5,000 in the chat. I can see you chanting 5,000 in the chat. And I missed it! Oh! I, I jinxed that. I'll, I'll take credit on that. But we're still playing for $1,000! All right, so tomorrow we try color. We try color. The black didn't really do it, but the game still will be light and fun. It's coming your way very soon. Ten questions. You're going to have to answer all of them correctly in order to get a piece of that $1,000 prize. Stick around. We've got more today on display coming up. Welcome to Display Tips. The bottom menu bar unlocks many rich features. Tap the home icon to refresh and bring you back to your news feed. To search for friends, tags, and discover new content, tap the search icon. Reaching out or receiving messages from friends and followers is easy and right here. Your profile gives you access to all things about you. Tap the create icon to go to the media screen and create original content and even live stream. Watch for more tips on Display TV. So if I let you come on this side, this side, you won't never get the swear size. Every nigga around me, they on boss, ain't got a dick ride. Them niggas talking down, I blew their budget down to ten times. Everybody jumped the ship, they thought it capsized. Now anybody making U-turns, gonna get baptized. Don't listen to these bitches on me. I've been cool and laying low, but I'm not taking the seat. But just know a nigga back in this time, I won't leave. I've been running, 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 gotta check me your back. I got honeys on my neck and I got shoes on my ass. Nigga, set up Hello, everybody. Before we welcome this very special next guest, why don't we show you a bit of what she's about? Let's take a look. So my first thing is to take just a small section okay. in the front. 
Got it. Hold the flat iron vertically. Okay. And then clamp it down right by the roots, not so much. And then turn it in. Okay. And keep turning it in while bringing it through the hair. Through the hair <gasps> and down. So it Okay, wait. That <laughs> is literally magic. <laughs> Look at that. It's so cool, guys. And this has different shapes. It has the stars, um, diamonds, it has moons, and it comes in a bunch of different colors, but I'm using a nice metallic silver just so it could give it a nice pop. Mm -hmm. These already have some adhesive on the back of it, so these rhinestones. Fun. So I'm just using a pair of tweezers, Yeah. peeling it off. Can I see these? And lightly placing it on the corner. This you can actually just, it's its very light in consistency, but you can build it mm -hmm. as much as you want. So we put a good amount on Danielle. All right, everyone. This is just a small sampling of her work. She's actually done my makeup for a very long time. Not currently. I wish she was. But we can bring her here in the flesh tonight, which is what I'm really excited about. So please help me welcome Amazon Live's Luana Factora. Hi. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for bringing me along. I'm so excited and it's so great to see you. It is I miss so you. great to see you. And also, I don't know, I'm missing out. Lately, I've been doing my own hair and makeup and I just don't have the Luana touch anymore. So we're going to have to remedy that sometime soon for sure. Thank I hope so, but you look fabulous. Thank you. I'll take this in the meantime. Now, I don't mean to make you blush, but... I'm so interested in what you are all about. You're here, you came through, but are you ready to let us get to know you a little more with Posted Up? I mean, I'm so excited. Of <laughs> okay, so essentially, I pulled a couple of your posts from your display profile. I want you to give me a little bit more of the story behind them. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you wanna talk about, let's take a look at this first one. Sure. Oh, I recognize that person. It's me. <laughs> tell me, tell me about, I mean, we could both talk about this gig. Also, let me pose a question to anyone in the chat. Did anybody watch this? This was a really fun show that um, I did for Bolero that, yeah, Luana was my makeup artist for. How cute does this look? I love it. I mean, you can rock anything, girls. So I totally remember this because it was in a really fun setting we were in a bowling alley and you were doing like a contest or whatever and it was so much fun it was just like very fun like the energy was just high and we were just having a good time i mean i always love doing your hair and makeup so it was very 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 exciting i love having you do my hair, hair and makeup okay let's take a look at the next one that we've got for you i recognize this person too this person has a show on display as well. Wait, when did you do Tiki's makeup? Oh my gosh, I think it was a few years ago at the Amazon Studios in the city. Um, we were doing some Super Bowl thing and he was super nice and just really pleasant to work with. And I'm a big fan of football, so it was just an honor to do his makeup and I loved it. I love that you're a football fan. I had him on, I don't know, maybe last week um, to talk about his new in initiative and in getting college athletes paid. Um, and you're yes. right, he is just the nicest guy. So big Tiki fan myself. And of course, you know, for anybody that is a Tiki fan, you can watch his show here on display as well. So I love that you've done his makeup. It's really like a full circle thing. Yeah. Let's take a look at the next one that we've got. I recognize this beauty too. She's from yeah. Bravo. She's on Summer House. You, you've done her makeup as well, huh? Yeah, she's a doll. I love Paige. Um, she does a lot of Amazon segments as well so I get to do her hair and makeup sometimes and she's she's such a doll so what's that like are you so I know obviously you work with Amazon doing any of their the host makeup for that but then it seems like you're also engaging with some of the same talent at their premieres or helping them out as well um, so you also have your own thing sort of going on because you're so good at what you do I think it's just um, it goes hand in hand, you know, when you meet people that you really like mesh with and you really connect with and I'm, you know, I'm flattered that they hire me outside also. So um, I get to do outside work with them and it's just an honor really. 
I'm going to pull up our next post and see if there's anyone else here that would surprise me. Yes. <laughs> this seems fun. How did you link up with Frankie Grande? So back in the day, Amazon had um, their first digital live show called Style Code Live, and he was one of the hosts. So like now, I, you know, I would do his hair and makeup on the show, but then outside when he had different events, I would also come in and just doll him up. So I have to ask, have you met Ariana? I have, yes. And, and? she's super She's a sweetheart. I love her. I love it. I you just her. only interact with people who are genuine good people. It's great. Is there any other celebrity names that you can drop as to people that you've done their makeup or again, maybe it's a brother or then you've interacted with them? Um, I mean, I've done a lot of athletes because mm. And I actually did makeup for the Gronk, and he was, he didn't really want makeup, but he needed to. And um, I've, I've done, um, what was his name? <laughs> Gosh, I forgot his name, but it was like a lot of football players, and I'm really obsessed with football. Just the, the black oh, lines, right? I've done, yeah, no, but I've done um, boxing too. I've done Lennox Lewis. I've done his makeup a few times, and I'm like, damn, you're tall, but. He's also really, really nice. I mean, everybody's so cool, you know. I'm really, really lucky to be able to work in this industry because everybody's cool. All right, let's see if you have any posts with your own makeup. Let's, yep. Woo! <laughs> what is this from? I mean, you know, during the pandemic, I wasn't really busy with any work. So I only had my face to do. So, of course, I just, I kind of tapped into my creativity. And Halloween is like the best time to do it. So I was just like doing random looks. I love this like scary doll look. So I was like, I'm gonna do it on myself. And so many of my friends just can't look at it. They're like, oh, Lou, don't even show me that because it's so scary and it looks so realistic and lifelike. And I'm just like, it is it was terrifying. So it's terrifying, but <laughs> I'm the type of person, I like scary makeup. I like that stuff. I think it's really cool. Even, you know, that sort of like gory makeup yeah. where you're using prosthetics and stuff like I'm just so drawn to the art of it you know because yeah. it, it really is I mean it's it's such a skill so I, that that's a really fun look I think I'm gonna have to do that scary doll look on you because you would rock that so so bad we, you got it it's a date as soon as we start getting back into Halloween season yeah. we're, we're redoing this and instead of doing trend it or end it we're just gonna have we're gonna do the doll look it'll be super I'm fun go all out. Um, I think we got one more yes some pop art makeup, is this around the same time in the pandemic? This was in the beginning of the pandemic. Cause girl, it was just like dry. I was like, what am I doing? And I really grew my following cause I would post every day, just different looks. And um, I went from like a thousand to now 15 K. Bravo. It's awesome. I'm like, consistency is everything. So I would post like every day, if not almost every day. There you go. Consistency, that's a tip from Luana. Like creativity it sounds like you were really having fun when with yeah. your looks you know what I mean you weren't necessarily trying to be perfect and something else that you were doing which we're really going to tackle in the next segment is sort of you know quick little video demos and things like that live things as sorts of hacks and things that you can do yeah. to you know experiment with your makeup make it easier for yourself so before I give too much away we'll be right back with more Luana Factora right after this welcome to display tips Let's get introduced to Profile. Tap the Profile on bottom right of screen. Here, you can personalize your display experience. Tap the pencil icon to edit your profile picture, cover photo, basic user info including contact, and link to your other social media accounts. Select your preferred language, identify top friends and family members. You can also create and manage your communities here. Watch for more tips on Display TV. Single 
Welcome back to the show. I'm here with professional beauty queen, Luana Factora. Hello, hello. We've Hi. just been doing, you know, a deep dive on some of your posts from social. And, you know, I think it's really cool because you do a bit of everything. Not only are you doing makeup on hosts and athletes and celebrities um, and sort of tackling the, the glam look, you're also yep. doing the natural look. You're also playing around with the artistic stuff and the sort of costume yep. makeup. Do you have a favorite, you know, element in all of this? Just like you, I love special effects makeup. It's just, it's so, it's art. Mm -hmm. And you get to just transform yourself to something completely different. So I love doing that. Well, I'm sure as part of your job, you have to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest viral beauty hacks. So are you up for a game where we try out a new one and then our users decide whether to trend it or end it? Yeah, of course. All right, let's play trend it or end it. We're doing this with Luana and she has brought to my attention something that's been trending essentially, and tell me if this is correct, you are applying your contour first and then putting your foundation on top of the contour, which is a little bit backwards, yeah? Yes, yes. So, yeah, so definitely the other way around. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest, like I have only recently started to contour myself, so I'm gonna let you guide me through this whole process of where we're gonna do our little lines of contour, then we're gonna throw on that foundation um, and we're gonna see how it looks. So. I want to make sure that I've got all my stuff. I do. So, okay. let's do it. Let's do the thing. I've got okay. my contour in front of me. <laughs> okay. So, just start off with your contour first. And what you want to do is just think of the number three. Okay. So, you're really just starting from the top of your forehead and you're drawing the number three down to your jawline. So, top of the forehead, under your cheekbone then down to your jawline. And All I'm right. gonna do that with you as well. All right, so I'm dipping my brush in. Hopefully I get enough. I can always, I guess, blend this, right? Yeah, that's the beauty of makeup. All right, we are going down. I think you guys can see this too. I'm putting it on as thick as I can. It's hard to do backwards, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh. There we go. You can start with just one side first. Okay. <laughs> I'm going here, right? Like down there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I feel like I did a pretty good job. Maybe I'll just get here. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> now what? So, now that we could just do one side so we could see the, the difference. difference. Okay. <laughs> but you did it on one side. And now you're going to go take your base, your foundation, okay. and blend with it. Okay. So I'm putting my foundation on the back of my hand. Is this something that, I don't know, this is something that I do. I don't know if you're supposed to do Yeah. I mean, okay. I do the same. Yeah. Okay, great. And we're going to just tap, 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 tap. And I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. And tap, 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 tap. I have another question. Are you supposed to make your beauty blenders wet uh, before you use yeah. them? Okay. And here's why. Um, it's just better when it's wet because it blends the product much better versus like a dry sponge. Also, it prevents it from absorbing too much of the product when it's wet. Mm. So a dry sponge could really soak up that product, right? Whereas when it's wet, it doesn't. So that's why it's best to wet it. And you don't have to wet it with water. You can wet it with, um, you know, like one of those vitamin water sprays that you, you would use usually just spray on your face to kind of freshen you up. You could do it that way too. I'm not gonna lie. I think this looks pretty good. Yeah, girl. 
Um, I, it's backwards, but it works. Yeah, I mean, it looks very natural. Um, and again, we're gonna throw this poll up in the chat so you guys can all vote. I mean, granted, I think I cheated a little bit because I have makeup on to do the show. So there's like blush on this side, so it's not a true test. But I think you can see, cause I didn't, co here's the thing. I didn't contour my face on this side. Cause I'm, like I said, I'm not really someone who does the contour. So I think you can actually see a yep. bit more of the contour here, um, yep. which is great. There we go. We're putting up the poll now. Let's see both sides of your face. Okay. So I did it on this side. Okay. Let's show our done sides and let's show our not done sides. Okay. So y'all, should we trend this? Oh, whoa. So far it is overwhelmingly trend. What? We're getting 82% trend right now. What? Normally it's a lot more split. So tell me too, in your opinion, is this something that you think should trend? How do you feel about this? 100% because when you put on foundation, it also saves a ton of foundation. Because if you do it the other way around, you put, you slap on your foundation, you don't know how much you're putting on, and then you contour. But if you do it the other way, you contour first, and then you just take a little bit, maybe a, a drop or two foundation and just blend with it. Yeah. I think it saves a lot of foundation too. I, I So if you're wetting your beauty blender, right? Like she said, you're saving there. You're also saving by doing it this way. So yeah, and we know foundation can actually cost a lot of money. So there you go. If you're just looking at pennies here, and we know a lot of you trivia people are, this is the way to save some money. We're closing the poll now, and it looks like, yeah, overwhelmingly so, people preferred. 83% said trend it, 16% said end it. So you got a new trend on your hands, everyone. <laughs> Make this trend. What are we calling this? Reverse contour? What do you think? I think so. And honestly, when I did it on TikTok, it went viral. And everybody was just like, whoa, this is so much better than doing it the other way around. So um, I, yeah, I think we should do, we could call it reverse contour or, you know, Save the base or save the something like save that. Save the base. I love that. Save the base for the face. I don't know. I like a rhyme. This Ooh, is so cute. much fun. Uh, look at this. I feel, I actually, I now I'm like, I have way too much blush on this side. So <laughs> this looks, this looks better. Thanks for fixing me up. Luana, thank you so much for adding some sparkle to the show today. This was great. Um, folks, don't forget you can find her at Looks by Lou. And don't go anywhere because up next, we got trivia for $2,500. Stay there. Welcome to Display Tips. Let's check out more of what Profile has to offer. Tap the profile on bottom right of screen. Here, you can review your friends, followers, and who you are following. When ready to set up your personal storefront, tap My Stuff. It's easy and only takes a couple of minutes. Next is your bank. Tap the bank icon to see how much money you have earned and how to redeem your cash. Watch for more tips on Display TV. Display is the social platform that puts the content creators first. Everyone is a content creator. Here's how social media works today. Advertisers pay social media giants to advertise on your content. The social giants then keep all of that money for themselves. You, the creator, never see a dime. At Display, we put the content creators first. When advertisers pay display, you can earn a 50% award rate on the ad revenue generated from your content. We also provide a marketplace for creators to sell products and share in the profits. Creators can receive award payouts based on the affiliate commission. The rewards you earn from ad revenue and affiliate commissions will be added to your display account every day. Display provides you a 50% award rate from the ad revenue generated from your content while social giants share nothing. We believe creators should be rewarded for their work. Download Display from your app store today. Can you feel the love tonight? My love for you and my love of giving out free money to all my display bees. Welcome back to Today on Display and welcome to another game of display trivia. Tonight's pot is $1,000 and here are the rules. You'll have 10 seconds to pick your answer and choose wisely because once you tap, there's no going back. If you miss one, 
you will no longer be eligible for the cash prize, but stay in the game because you can keep playing along for fun and songs, always songs. All right, let's get to it. No time to dilly dally. Here we go. Question one. Which of the following items would you not typically take on a camp on a camping trip? A tent, a sleeping bag, a Xerox copy machine. Which of the following items would you not typically take on a camping trip? A tent, a sleeping bag, a Xerox copy machine. Hey, I don't know what you like to have on you when you're away from the comforts of home. You know, maybe you don't travel like. Glamping is really big these days. For those of you who don't know, that is glam camping. <laughs> a glamping. But as long as I'm still sleeping outside, there's not a whole lot of glam going on. I'm using more energy to ward off bugs than I am to apply my vitamin C serum. I think it's pretty difficult to find a copy machine anywhere these days, let alone in the forest, right? Pro tip, find a roommate with the printer. Makes your life way easier without all the hassle. You heard it here first. Question two. The cosmetic referred to as blush is typically applied to what part of the face? Eyes, cheeks, lips. What part of the face are we looking for? Eyes, cheeks, lips. If the eyes are the windows to the soul, then the cheeks must be the facade of the soul, right? And then I think that makes the mouth the, the door to the soul. I mean, food goes in through there, so that checks out, right? Food is what my soul craves. Then there's um, just the nose, which is the air conditioning vent of the soul. Either way, you know, you want all your parts to look gorgeous, darling. And though most of the time you're pretty enough without your makeup, sometimes it's just what you need for a pick-me-up. Do you guys think I'm pretty? No, oh, stop, you're making me blush, stop. Okay, oh, you can't comment during this, that's okay. Okay, so yeah, you're making me blush, that goes on your cheeks, um, the, the face cheeks, of course, yeah. Question three, how many sections of hair are used in a basic braid? Two, three, four. How many sections of hair are used in a basic braid? Two, three, or four? This is the minimum amount of hair that you need to make a braid. I learned this at summer camp. Something else I learned at summer camp? Label your stuff, because some of those girls were kleptos. Daphne, I know you took my scrunchie out of my bunk because it's in your hair, girlfriend. It's in your hair. Like, if you're gonna take my stuff, maybe be less obvious about it. If you're gonna take home the cash money tonight, though, you gotta get this one right. You gotta, you gotta. I see we have some summer camp girlies in the house today. Blue bunk rules. How many sections are in a basic braid? Three. Let's braid on into question four. What shipping company is known for its brown trucks and uniforms? UPS, FedEx, DHL. Brown trucks and uniforms. UPS, FedEx, DHL. These brown uniforms are iconic. Their slogan at one point was, what can brown do for you? And well, <laughs> after a look at those short shorts, I can think of a few things. Falling in love with a delivery man is so easy because like, if you want to see him more, just put in a lot of orders. Another pro tip, order stuff that's heavy so you need help getting it into your apartment. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, can you help me with this full-size dishwasher? Oh. Thank you so much. This company name isn't pronounced UPS, good song by Cardi B though, but rather UPS. And if you got it right, I'm shipping you into question five. Name the closest star to Earth. Proxima Centauri, Betelgeuse, the sun. Name the closest star to Earth. Proxima Centauri, Betelgeuse, the sun. I don't get starstruck because you have to remember, stars are just like us. Big balls of gas with huge gravitational pulls around which everything revolves. Also like the hottest, most massive things in the universe. Yeah, I 100% relate. 
Gotta ask some of these stars about their skincare routine though. Have you seen that glow? Like, is she born with it? Or is it hundreds of millions of thermonuclear reactions? For now, all we can know is the sun is the closest star to Earth. And stars are what we have playing in this quiz tonight. Yeah, you, you're a star, and you're a star, and you're a star. Question six. Which human body part produces bile? Stomach, small intestine, liver. Which human body part produces bile? Stomach, small intestine, liver. I gotta be honest. I don't truly know what bile is but it, it doesn't sound pretty. Like some words just sound gross, like mucus, ooh, or chunks, gross, gross, gross. Bile definitely falls into that category where words, you know, are, you know, icky without fully knowing what they are. But gross or not, you need this for digestion. As long as this body part deals with it and doesn't involve me, we'll be good. And who can we thank for bile? The liver, of course. Thank you, liver. Thank you. Is it there? I don't know. But you're crushing it. <laughs> you're crushing it in there. Let's crush more of this quiz, okay? It's Q7. Chris Rock's character in the DreamWorks half-animated feature film is named after what scientific process? Diffusion, osmosis, convection. Which one? Diffusion, osmosis, convection. This character is an anthropomorphic white blood cell who lives inside Bill Murray. And it makes me wonder what shooting this must have been like. I mean, I've heard Bill Murray was a nice guy, but to let an entire film crew like into his body like that? Wow. Like some actors won't even come out of their trailer when they're not working, but Bill Murray, like genuinely funny man and salt of the earth. We love to hear it. We love to hear it. Rock's character is a detective named Jones, Osmosis Jones. And he's, does he stop the infection? Well, you'll have to watch to find out. Question eight. All of the following are different names for the same garment except pedal pushers, parachute pants, clam diggers. All of these are the same garment except pedal pushers, parachute pants, clam diggers. All of these sound super practical, right? I love when fashion meets function. Oh yeah. That's why in the winter I just use dishwashing gloves to keep my hands warm. Why use reading glasses when you can just use binoculars? And of course, all my rings are key rings. Yeah, it gets loud, it does, but I never lose my keys. Pedal pushers are named such because they were actually invented so that women could more comfortably ride bicycles. And the similarly length Thinned. The similarly length, yes, they're the same length, clam diggers are often interchangeable, right? I'm still looking for a way to jump out of a plane with my parachute pants, though. Stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Q9. The 2014 Dan Sterling comedy feature film centers around the dictator of which country? Panama, Libya, North Korea. The dictator of which country? It centers around a dictator of which country? Panama, Libya, North Korea. As is common with most authoritarian leaders, I don't think this dictator was too happy about this film's portrayal of him. But if you want to be taken seriously, don't be a dictator. Don't be a dictator. Earn respect. You'll catch more flies with honey than with vinegar, right? Also, like, don't act so childish. I'm in charge of everything because I say so. Okay, yeah, cool, dude. We respect you. Uh, as for respect, though, I reserve that for my display bees, and it looks like you got that Kim Jong-un was the subject of Seth Rogen and James Franco's pastiche in the interview. Now, if you all follow me and pledge allegiance, I will lead you into the final question. Here it is, Q10. Which green liqueur was first distilled for commercial use in Europe in 1797? Izara, chartreuse, absinthe. Izara, chartreuse, absinthe. Which one? 
1797. You know that old drinking uh, adage? Beer before liver? Wow. Beer before liquor, <laughs> never been sicker. Liquor before beer, you're in the clear. I don't think there's one for liqueur, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a stab at it. Liqueur with wine, um, I think that sounds fine. Liqueur in a cup, sure, two thumbs up. That's pretty good. I find with advice, the more generic, the better, right? Don't you think? This concoction is associated very much with Parisian culture, and to that I say, hui oui, mon ami. Absinthe is the greenish liqueur we were looking for, and you, and if you found it, you won. If you found it, you won, because that's it, guys. That's the end of the game. You came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge, and you got p -p 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 paid. Woo, we'll see you on Monday. Rest up, my friends. I'm, I clearly need some rest. You've got a few days off, right? So do I. Then, as always, we're playing a whole new round of trivia. So we'll see you then on display. Performing exclusively on display, Hot Boy Mafia. <laughs> Empecé fue regando dos gramos y pero ahora me llegan entero. Yo ni tan duero, yo ni loco se lo meto al pelo. Empecé fue regando dos gramos y pero ahora me llegan entero. Y te lo contando y el gran cocinando. Otro lo mueve y lo viente aumentando. Moca con los monos que no están ubicando. Joseamos en silencio y si viene o le mando. La nieve, lo azul y los haters me llueven. Copper y la valle cualquiera. Me falta el respeto y te muere. Tu bloque te frenamos breve. Están celosos, llegame si puedes. Compré un palete y no estoy ready pa' ustedes. No muero roto, la plíquita va a ser famoso. Yo me la tengo los mafiosos. Corremos la calle y llegó. Solo mono a mi bloque, no entra pa' que peligroso. Se muestran tirados, nigga. No están donde estoy con ninguno mejor. Con mi coro armado. Saben que si le frenamos, vamos a dejar un pozo. Atrás de la paca, yo no ando en retoso. Yo no ando en retoso, no. Yo quiero llenarme, yo no ando en reposo. Tony Montana moviendo los cosos. Quiero dinero, ni que estoy ansioso. Hasta que uno le saca, son los más rabiosos. Hicimos en el bando, dinero contando y el gran cocinando. Otro lo mueve, lo pinta aumentando. Otro con los monos que no están ubicando. Llegó el GPL para hacer sitio. Tiene el bando, dinero contado. 